Okay, let me see if I can do this. Um, this is a uh, zero tolerance. Um, this knife is a collaboration. I did an earlier review on it. This is a cl collaboration between Rick Hinderer and Kershaw, who owns Zero Tolerance. It's made in the USA. According to Kershaw, it's, they have their top teams that work on this knife, and it's extremely well made, in my opinion. I've seen a teardown video where the gentleman tears it down and he shows the ball bearings that run in a race. Um, very durable design. Um, it will hold up a very long time. It looks like you don't even have to worry about dirt and things like that getting in there being any real big problem. If it does get in there you need to clean it. Very easy to take the knife apart and clean that. But one thing that some people have complained about that I just addressed is the jimping on the back here in several areas on the knife that that it feels a little bit rough the surface feels a little bit rough and especially when you use the flipper here to deploy the knife Let's see if I can do it without hitting the camera here uh, I don't want to do it too hard because I will hit the camera but let's try it one more time here okay so when you deploy it that your fingers then hit this jimping on the top. Let me get it around here so we can see a little bit. Hopefully the camera will focus in on that. This jimping on the top here is what your finger ends up hitting when you deploy it with the flipper. And there's some other areas on the on the knife that are a little bit rough, if you will. And and they did this for traction on purpose, I believe. You know, so when you're gripping it, your thumb grips it, they, they had it kind of sharp jimping here. So what I did was I just took a fine little file here. Can't really see that very good in the, in the picture, I don't think. But a fine little file. And I just very carefully filed around these, these edges in the jimping on both this titanium side and this side, which has the titanium liner and the G10. Of course the G10 is easier to file smooth than the titanium. But I just slowly but surely did that and then kept trying it until I got it to where it's a good compromise of still getting traction yet not being uncomfortable on the hand, not being so sharp that it's uncomfortable to handle the knife. And so I think I got a good happy median with just that little file just kind of filing and, and playing around with it here for about an hour or so and now I really really love this knife this is just a first-rate um, collaboration and they did a great job and again I don't think this is something that they did wrong on the knife some people want extreme traction and want it to be kind of sharp there to really bite into the thumb so it's it's a personal preference thing. So if you don't want quite that much traction, then just very carefully take a file and smooth it out some. That's all you've got to do. And I did the same thing down here on the back, down in here. Did the same thing. Not a whole lot, just a little bit of smoothing on the corners. And um, you can't even really see it with the naked eye. I mean, you, you feel it with your fingers, but... Um, just kind of smooth it out a little bit here and there and so and you get it to your to your liking so fantastic knife just do a little bit of customizing on it and you can get it exactly exactly the way you want it and I'll tell you what considering you've got to pay for an actual Rick Hinderer original you know, you've got to pay, what, $800 or $1,000, and they're hard to get. This thing was $260, and in some ways, I think it's a better knife. I'll come right out and say that. In some ways, I think this is a better knife than an actual hinderer. It is just a fantastic, very well-made, USA-made knife. So... If you do have one and you're not real happy with that jimping being a little bit sharp, this is your solution. Notice 
I don't know if you can see in this video or not, but that blade is perfectly centered. Um, the only thing that that I would have liked to have seen is I would have liked to have seen more like a Sabenza, where the blade goes all the way down. The, the Sabenza doesn't have these pieces right here. It has one at, at the end. And the blade actually comes all the way down to where you can even reach in and just touch the blade. It's right there. And that way the handle doesn't have to be as thick and the blade doesn't stick out as much. So, but that's just a design thing that, that, that I think, I mean, if I was going to improve on something on this knife, I would do that. Um, but that's about all I would change. I mean, it's, it's so good that... Again, just smoothing out some of the some of the jimping and some of the edges here and there is all I did, and I'm really, really happy with the results. So why don't you share your comments too? What if any modifications you've done to your zero tolerance? 0560 or 0561. The only difference is that has the different scales on it, the brown scales. I actually like the black, I really do. A lot of people like the brown, but I actually really like the, the look of this knife with the black. The more you study it, the, the more you can tell it's just a very well made, beautiful piece of work. Well, I won't bore you any further, but I just thought I would share with you how to address that one problem that a lot of people have commented on, and it's very easy to address. Just get yourself a nice, fine little file and just tweak it until you get it exactly the way you like. Thanks for tuning in.